Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin and we are live once again today helping me celebrate my 16 year anniversary with Stampin' Up. So yes, this is a little impromptu. Hi Lori Tibbetts, you're the first one popping in. Janet, good to see you. I've got Bonnie in here. If you guys happened to catch my live yesterday or if you didn't, you can always watch the replay on my page. We made these cards, beautiful envelope flaps, using the Positive Thoughts stamp set and the Nature's Thoughts dies. Hi, Pat. Hi, Hi Jody. Um, I also found the other card that I was looking for that I didn't, I couldn't find yesterday. So this was the other card we made. And then I have this one that I made, oh, about a month ago or so. Yeah, so just another pretty idea using that positive thought stamp set. Steve just walked in. Come here, Steve. Steve just walked in. Bring that over here and show everybody what you just brought in for us. He is so sweet. Look at He just bought, brought in a whole thing of grapes. <laughs> Don't give him the creepy look. <laughs> And when I say that he just brought them in, come on over here. I have company in my stamp room today. Look who's here, my granddaughter <laughs> and my daughter Haley. But my granddaughter is here. <laughs> hi, everyone. Haley says hi. So she is a teacher, and with all the chaos going on, she's off school today. This is what she's been working on today. So I'm making some swaps for mom. I'm going to tip this up a little bit. Oh, there was my ugly hand. And I'm using these bundle, this bundle, right? Yeah, the yeah. new one. This is upside down. Oh, sorry. There, we're good. <laughs> Stick them up there. We're using the Ornate Garden Bundle. This is brand new coming April 1st. And Haley's making some swap cards for me, so I'll have lots and lots of ideas to show all of you guys. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Sarah. Happy to see you. Jay, you're on. I'm glad you're on, Jay, because I've got kind of a little surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Haley. You're she welcome. made a beautiful card today. And you guys will see it in the future. Don't worry. I'm all about sharing. Hi, Brooke Belke. How are you? We've got Karen. Haley says hi, Brooke, too. Mm -hmm. Stacy's here. Connie Bushman, welcome. Okay, so um, those were the cards that I shared yesterday. First thing I want to do here today is to award this to one of our winners. I went through, I use random.org to select winners for these drawings. I went through and um, our winner today is Terry Sampson. Terry, congratulations. You are gonna get this Grace's Garden stamp set. It is beautiful and I hope you like coloring. <laughs> I think you do, I think, I think you like coloring. So I'll be getting that off in the mail to you, provided we continue to have mail, right? Um, word on the street, Haley's husband is a mailman, and they are still working tomorrow. So we don't know what's going on beyond that, but we will still have mail tomorrow. So this is good. And um, I'm just happy that I can stamp with you today and provide you with a much needed creative break, perhaps. Or maybe you've been stamping all day. Has anybody been stamping all day? I have. Well, I haven't really been stamping. I've been doing other things. I just got off a conference call. I do every Wednesday um, with my team of demonstrators that want to get a little bit more training. I just got off that call. And I have to tell you guys, I think I'm going to get cut short today because I am on another conference call with Stampin' Up. We are de um, going to be brainstorming some ideas on how to help deal with the situation we're in right now, right? Michael Deal, I haven't seen you in forever. Hi, Sharon. Welcome. So I'm going to pull you up on my screen here so I can see your comments when I flip the phone around. Now, I have two cards to share with you today. I may only get one done. If that's the case, I might pop in later tonight and show you the other one, or I might save it for tomorrow. It just depends. My conference call is from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Central Time, so that's a long time to be on the phone. Um, all right, popping you up here, hang tight. I want to make sure I can see all your messages and we're good to go. Okay, lots of people coming in. Nancy says she's been in her craft room all day. Good for you, Nancy. 
Um, and she works in an egg farm, so her job is still going on every day. That's that's good. There's a lot of people that are getting sent home right now, right? Hi, Patty. Hi, Randy. And we have Verna. Yay! And Verna says thanks to our post office employees. Um, yeah, right? Thanks to everybody who's continuing to work and help us, you know, get through this crazy, crazy time. I completely agree with you. All right. I am going to flip the camera around and we're going to get started because that's why we're here, right? I know you like to see my smiling face, <laughs> but we're going to do a little bit of stamping. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. And we're going to flip this around. I am going to be using the Timeless Tulip Stamp today. Bundle, I should say. Haley, I'm going to take your light okay. so that I have good lighting in here. I just pulled Haley's light away from her. Yeah. And get this all set up. Okay, you guys can open your eyes. We're ready to roll. We're going to be playing with the Timeless Tulip Stamp Set today. I have two gorgeous cards, hopefully. I'm just going to do one first, and then if we get time to do the other one, we'll do it. If not, I'll do it tonight or tomorrow. Um, let's see. Let's get this out. I've got my little cheat here where I can tell you all the dimensions. By the way, you guys, I have been posting all of these projects on my blog. It's not a big blog post. It needs to be really simple, right? Because this is a lot of extra things that I'm um, doing this week for my anniversary, which I'm happy to celebrate with you. I will be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator 16 years tomorrow, which is crazy, right? It doesn't seem like it's been that long. So here's what we've got. We are again concentrating on that beautiful pleased as punch designer series paper it is only available until the end of march and i want to use it as much as possible because it's so darn pretty now i saw jay pop in here and jay we're making your card did these layers look familiar to you this is jay is one of my team members and i am going to recreate her card for you because it was so dang cool and it's a fun fold which of course you guys know I'm a little bit obsessed with right so first thing we have here is coastal cabana this is four and a quarter by five and a half then we have another piece of coastal cabana here that is three and a quarter by eight and a half and it's scored at four and a quarter Next, I've got a piece of Daffodil Delight that I have already run through the Subtle Embossing Folder. And this is four by five and a quarter. I've got a piece of our Pleased as Punch Designer Series paper. This is three by four. Whisper White with a hair on it. <laughs> Whisper White, that's three by four. And then I took a white scrap and a coastal scrap and I die cut a scallop and a circle. Let me tell you about how big this circle is from our circle, our layering circle dies. It's about one and seven eighths inch. And then this scallop is the one that layers just a teeny weeny little bit behind it. And then we've got a piece of the Pleased as Punch designer series paper. This is a half inch by three. Okay. We're gonna do just a little bit of, oh, and you need a white scrap. Let me, uh, oh, I thought I had a bigger scrap here. Hang on. Well, that'll work. I don't need anything super big. Where did it go? Right here. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in my ink pads here. I've got Coastal Cabana, Pear Pizzazz, and Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna take, oh, you know what? I don't think Daffodil is the right color. I think that I need to use Mango Melody now that I'm looking at Jay's card. So we're going to do Mango Melody. You're going to stamp your tulip. Now this is the Timeless Tulip Stamp Set with the matching builder punch. Yep, that's exactly what I was looking for. Isn't that? This is one of our distinctive stamps and it's absolutely gorgeous. Then we're going to get this layered in here and punched out. There we go. So here's our flower. We're now going to take our circle. And Jay, um, I'll show you her card too. There's a pretty little Easter greeting on the front of hers. I'm going to do a hello card. The hello comes with the Timeless Tulip stamp set. So I'm just going to put a little hello right over there with the Coastal Cabana. 
And then I'm going to bring in my pear pizzazz. Janet says she loves this set. I do too. Hi, Paula. I'm glad you could catch me live today. I'm going to take my stem and I'm going to stamp that about right here with the pear pizzazz. Then I'm going to come in with a couple leaves and I'm going to stamp a leaf right here. And I'll take another leaf and stamp it right here. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty, doesn't it? And then we're going to glue this. Let me get my glue out here. We're going to glue this on right here at a little bit of a tilt, just like Jay did. I loved that. That, you know, that just makes all the difference. It's just a little bit different, right? Now, we are going to take this layer. This was our three and a quarter by eight and a half layer scored at four and a quarter. And we're going to fold that. I'm going to, I'm like, did you see my glue? Well, my glue is right here. Is this, this looked a little big, but it is the right size. Here comes our pleased as punch paper. I have had a blast with this paper, you guys. If you don't have any, you really need to get some. And if you're looking to place any orders, I always appreciate them. Um, if you are a demonstrator, go ahead and order from yourself. I totally get it. But if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I will always appreciate your business. We're going to glue this right on here. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Then I am going to use some dimensionals. Here they are. So last minute, I'm like getting everything ready to do this card for you. And I'm ready to go live. And I completely forgot to get out the stamp set. Like, And then I couldn't find it. And I'm like panicking. I'm like, Haley, I don't know where the set is. And she's like scrambling trying to find it. It was crazy. And it was right in the drawer <laughs> where I keep the new stamp sets. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put this on right about here. And next, I want to take the baker's twine. I'm going to use my bow jig here. And I'm going to make a really little bow. And I'm going to do a double bow. One, two. I wrapped it around two times. Put it over the top and back under. Now, if anybody's new to me today and you haven't heard me talk about this bow jig, it is nothing more than a piece of wood with some holes drilled in it. <laughs> you have to be able to hold on to your baker's twine to make it work. So that's going to be your biggest challenge today. I should say it's my biggest challenge. Hang on, I'm kind of just wiggling around and got all these things going on. There we go. Okay, pull that nice and tight. I'm going to trim this off, and then I see one of the things that I love to do with the baker's twine is to curl those ends, and Jay did that on her card, too. So you just grab a hold with your um, bone folder, hold on to your bow good, and then just curl, and it'll curl like ribbon, and it's just a nicer look than that stray string hanging off of there, right? Sometimes you might get a kink in your baker's twine. And this will also eliminate that. Look how stinking adorable that is, right? All right, mini glue dots. I'm going to take one of those. And I'm kind of kind of crinkle it up a little bit because I don't want it sticking out from under this tiny little piece of baker's twine. So I kind of rolled it up a little bit and we're going to put it right here on our stem. What do you guys think so far? Is that not stinking adorable, right? And then we're going to take this layer, our Daffodil Delight layer that is already um, embossed in the Settles embossing folder. And I'm going to put this right on here. And then I've got a different embossing folder to show you. I wanted you to see it two different ways. So I'll share with that, that with you in a second. And then I'm going to come in here and stamp the Easter greeting with the Calypso Coral right there. Beautiful. And then I brought in one of those little tulips and I'll stamp that in the Mango Melody. Maybe I'll put that right up here. Cutie patootie, right? Okay. We're going to put this on the inside of this little panel. 
Isn't that just the cutest thing ever? Yeah. And then this gets glued right on the front here. So let me get this on here good. And you're going to put this just a little bit from the left side. And this is where, oops, i got to get it straight. There we go. Now, Jay added some embellishments that were absolutely perfect for this particular card. Our glitter enamel dots come in Coastal Cabana. So, we're going to add one of these dots. People often ask me what to use the... Um, Oops, wrong end. What to use the spatula end on your take your pick tool for. There's a variety of different things, but you can use it for these types of embellishments too, just to scoop them right off of there. Oh, I want a bigger one than that. Just to scoop them right off of there and add them to your project. And then I'm going to grab a really little one and drop that right there. What do you guys think? Again, Jay gets all the credit for this beauty. I think if I were to do this again, I would pull this down just a little bit. It's kind of, I'm going to do that right now. Watch me. Jay's is down further and I like hers better. So we're going to push this down just a little bit more so it's not sticking up there like a sore thumb. And you know what? That is completely the ticket. Okay. Jay used the um, Hope. This is a free, what is that called? Let me grab my little catalog. This is the Power of Hope bundle that's in the back of our celebration catalog. Oh yeah, Power of Hope with the stone 3D embossing folder. So this embossing folder right here, it does that. Jay used that on her yellow layer. Oh, we forgot our little strip of designer series paper. Hang on, let's grab that because that's going to add a lot to the inside. I'm glad I didn't stamp that um, little daffodil or tulip, daffodil, that little tulip at the bottom, right? Because that would have messed up this idea. I kind of was getting ahead of myself. Look at, there we go. And um, yeah, Jay used that stone 3D folder in the background. I love that. I absolutely love it. The subtles works really good too, right? And then the glitter enamel dots are super pretty going on here. Now, if you wanted to, another thing you could do is take your Wink Estella this just popped in my head and maybe add a little bit of Wink Estella to your flower. I'm just going to do it up here on the tip and maybe just down that way. And I know you guys, well, maybe you can see that. Can you see that in the light, how it's glimmering? Yeah, very pretty. Okay, we only have 15 minutes left before I have to be on a conference call. And I think that I am going to have to wait on the next card. The next card is also using the Timeless Tulips, and it is beautiful. But in the meantime, I have some other cards to share with you using the Timeless Tulips bundle. So I will grab those. So if you guys don't have this bundle yet, I think it's a classic. It's great for sympathy cards, for get well cards, for Easter cards, general cards, like just a hello card, like spring cards. This is going to brighten somebody's day. Are you leaving, honey? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Love Sounds you good. I'll be here tomorrow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Haley's leaving. She's going home. Jared's probably going to be home pretty soon. All right. This is a card that I made for what? I don't remember. <laughs> but, but I did make it. And again, um, this paper is the Pleased as Punch, whoops, with all the tulips all over it. So that was really fun. Then we have this one. This one is in a swap I got from a fellow demonstrator, Emily Tull. Very pretty, bright, vibrant granny apple green in there. And flirty flamingo with, I think, lovely lipstick. So that's a beautiful color combination. Then I got this one. This is from Chris Ball. And this is another beautiful card. And I see she used Wink of Stella on both of her tulips. She stamped them on, I believe this is uh, Petal Pink or Blushing Bride. I can't. I think it's um, Petal Pink. Very, very pretty. This embossing folder is on low inventory. So this is the uh, Parisian embossing folder. If you guys had your heart set on that, you might want to get it fairly quickly. 
unless it's gone already. I love this. This is Rococo Rose and um, Pear Pizzazz. I love the linen thread in here that just adds kind of a country charm, I think, right? Am I holding these too tall? I, I, I need to stay in my camera view here. This card is from my friend Ruth Bingle, and how beautiful is this? This is actually a fun fold. It's an easel card, and it sets up just like that. I absolutely love these types of cards. And she used the basket weave on the background of this one. This is a card I got from my friend Barb. She cut some grass down here. Look at that. It's all frayed. And she used Mango Melody. And she um, punched out the tulips in the paper. These are actually the paper tulips punched out. So the punch, the punch matches the paper also. This is that paper that four different punches match it. So it's pretty darn cool. Let's see. I think, oh, I think that's it. I think that's all I have here other than the card I'm going to share with you probably tomorrow. I've got a lot of work that I have to get done. And isn't it terrible that this is my work? Yeah, I know. I love saying that, though, because it's a passion that I have. And when you're passionate about something, it's just not even like work, is it? So I want to know that you guys are keeping yourselves busy um, on the self-quarantine, that you are, I'm going to flip the camera around again, that you are keeping yourself busy, that you're crafting, that you're, um, if nothing else, taking advantage of this time to spend in your craft room doing something you love, right? I know all stampers love stamping. And, uh... Yeah, it's, it's a little weird being kind of isolated, but um, I don't feel isolated when I'm here with you guys. <laughs> so that's really fun for me. And I will have another drawing. Oh, nobody's here to pick out the prize for tomorrow. Darn it. Um, I think tomorrow we'll be giving away some glitter enamel, enamel glitter dots. No, glitter enamel dots. These are really fun. This will be our prize. I will do a drawing. Everybody who leaves a comment, please leave a comment so you get entered in the drawing. And please share this video. You can click on that share button right now. Click the like, whether you're watching now or later on YouTube. Give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. Share my video on YouTube. It really helps me out. Elizabeth said that she is making a few more sympathy cards. Yeah, I know. It's kind of a season, isn't it? And what did Amy just said? Oh, a lovely card. Thank you, Amy. Oh, who's working in healthcare? Stacy works in healthcare, so you are not off work. Bless all the healthcare workers. I want to sh give a big shout out to the people that are stocking our grocery shelves, the people that are keeping the gas stations open. Um, all of our healthcare workers that are really putting themselves at risk every day. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart and all us stampers appreciate you, right? Jody says she's still working too, darn it. That's a good thing, right? I think it's a good thing, but she could be stamping. And Heather loves the glitter enamel dots. I do too. Like they're really pretty, right? They're just so spectacular. Um, Lynn is making thinking of you cards to send out right now. I highly recommend that. And you know what? Any of these would be a beautiful card, um, to get in the mail right now. Absolutely. You can send these out. You can leave the Easter greeting off the inside of this one. Send it out just with a hello. Hope you're doing okay. Wanted to send you a smile today. That rhymes. There you go. Hope you're doing okay. Wanted to send you a smile today. I'm not going to sing that because nobody would appreciate that. I guarantee it. All right. Yeah, that's right, Becky. Teamwork. Excellent. Hi, Francie. Thank you so much. It's good to see you. And Jody, you are very welcome. Jody says, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for being a part of my team and my friend and fellow stamper. And yeah, all the things. We have to stay positive. We have to keep a smile on our face and get through the times as best as we can, right? Absolutely. All right, you guys, I'm going to close it down so I can run and refill my drink. What are you guys drinking? You know what I have. 
Hi, Nikki Schmidt. Nikki is my cousin. <laughs> She's cleaning everything. She works at a hospital and they're cleaning frantically. Nikki, thank you for all your hard work too. Um, I've got my strawberry lemonade here. I'm going to go get a refill and maybe eat some of the grapes that Steve brought in for us. What a sweetheart. He'll do that once in a while. He'll bring in cheese and crackers or um, he just cooked some pork tenderloin on the grill and he sliced up a little bit of it and brought it in with a plate and a fork as a snack. And uh, yeah, he's kind of he's kind of nice that way. And I have to tell you guys that we have um, on our Arizona trip, we're not going any place. So yeah, I'm, I'm sad about that, but I kind of knew it was coming. I was I was just holding out hope and trying to be so positive that we're still going to Arizona, but we're not going any place. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, I don't think any of the planes are even going to fly. I don't know what's going on with that, but whatever. We'll get through it. It'll be fine. We can go to Arizona another time, right? So have yourselves a wonderful evening. I'm pretty sure I won't be back on tonight, but I will see you back here tomorrow. I never know when. It depends on how my day is going. And I had to stick to like tuck this in between two different conference calls today. Um because I didn't want to be really late tonight. So <laughs> Sharon says, Steve's a great guy. He is. Oh, Yvonne. Yes, Steve is feeling much better today. He actually um, assembled his new grill. So you heard about the grill yesterday? Yeah, I'm nice like that. <laughs> um, he got that all put together today. So that was cool. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off so I can take a little pop day break, refill and get ready for my next call. Have a wonderful evening. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.